Hello, Mover and Gonki. This is Rich is my hero here. What situations have you both been in where the pucker factor was high? This might not be flying, it might be something else that you've done, but obviously flying stuff would be way cooler. Um, thanks both. Love the content. Keep up the good work. Probably there's one time in my illustrious flying career that I actually grabbed the ejection handle. And basically, we were out in Key West doing a good deal 2v1. I was the one, so I was the bandit. And I was fighting my training O, my buddy Porkins. And I jumped him from the six o'clock position. And uh, like good blue air, um, you know, right before I was getting ready to pull the trigger uh, and shoot my training O, I decided to shoot him first since he had a Top Gun patch. But anyways, um, right before I was yeah. getting ready to pull the trigger, man, he called a break turn and uh, he went, uh, he broke left and went almost pure nose low. My buddy Porkins broke right and then then went up in the vertical. So I pulled really hard initially down low shot uh, Link, our training O, and I reversed to go after Porkins who was going uphill. What ended up happening was as he's coming over the talking my hands, as he's coming over the top <laughs> and I'm coming up the bottom, we both squared off pretty hard, right? Because uh, now we're worried about this thing we'd call sensor nose, right? About getting shot. Long story short, those hard pulls to get the, the airplanes around the corner depleted our energy. And so what happened was Morgan's coming downhill with almost no energy. I'm coming uphill with limited energy. And I remember looking up at it and thinking constant bearing, decreasing range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if he's not moving across your windscreen, he's moving through it. And it was pretty obvious to me, like, I think we're going to hit. So I was already in full blower and I was pulling back on the stick and I pulled back on the stick even more. I mean, all the way to the stop and the airplane being the good Hornet, it does it rotated about its axis, but it kept going in its same direction. And I thought that doesn't work. So I shoved the stick all the way forward and it rotated again about its axis, but kept going in its trajectory because we were both, we were ballistic. Basically you're supposed to call ballistic, but right. when I was, you know, certain of my own demise. I just didn't have the brain bias to do it. And I could see Porkins doing the same thing. And uh, when it became apparent to me that we are indeed ballistic, there's nothing we can do to change our trajectory. I reached down, I grabbed the handle, and I thought, there's two things that went through my mind. I'm scared of heights. I don't like sharks. <laughs> so around Key West, we're at 20,000 feet, and there's lots of water, Florida water beneath me. So I really didn't want to eject. And I... I don't know what it was. I took a, another look out and I'm like, you know what? Maybe we'll miss. And I just held on. I had one hand on the stick, pulling back one hand on the ejection handle and we passed. And it's, I just remember silence. And then I don't know if you remember, I can't replicate it with my voice, but the, uh, rat out going off. Oh yeah. So in the Navy, going through 5,000 feet, you set the rat out 5,000 feet as high as it goes. So he passed beneath me, and I mean, I, I was staring at Porkins. He, I mean, our eyes, like our eyeballs were huge, and uh, he passed underneath me. I I thought I thought maybe the tail would hit, but I mean, we oh. literally just <laughs> barely missed one another. The rat out went off, and you know, you're supposed, there's this whole calm drill. You're so, you know, I'll knock it off, you know, this, that, and the other. I, I didn't say a word. <laughs> I just flew home. <laughs> you know, it's like, Link's like, oh, you guys okay? I'm like, yeah, oh, Link, no. I'm just going home. And, uh, you know, I don't drink much, but uh, if you remember their mover at the uh, Fly Navy, there's that little shop across oh. the parking lot. We went over there and bought a bottle of uh, Gentleman Jack and, Porkins and I had a bottle of <laughs> I still, every time I talk to him, I'm like, you remember that time you almost killed me? And he claims it's my, he claims it's my fault, but I thought I was pretty offensive until I wasn't. So, but that's, that's probably, that's the only time I ever grabbed the handle thinking I got, I'm going to have to get out of this airplane. So like Mover said, there's, there's a lot of other times I've had some serious pucker factors, uh, but that, that stands out in my mind.